open for beta or worse, the Division 2. Back over there. Time to execute an agent. Yeah, okay. Mic drop. <laughs> enemy patrol detected. Oh man, I got enemies on all sides. I don't. I'm in a box. This is a bad idea. Oh shit! That didn't do any good on him. Run! That guy's a big dude. Holy crap. Medical assistance needed. Ah, just a <laughs> okay, let's not go back to that spot. I am too low of a level for that. Oh, is that guy gonna heal me? Agent killed. He tried, I'm sure. Is that guy tearing these guys up? I'm gonna try to sneak around. Engaging landmark. City on fire. He's on fire, dude. Wow, that's really good tech. Oh boy. Yeah, he definitely on, exploded. More people? Just kamikaze dudes. This is a shaman dude. The hatchet. You got a better shotgun. I don't think it can use it yet. Whoa. Still you. Secure. 
your loot. How about that? I need to get it back over there. There's some shit going down. Wait, I'm getting some goods. Where's the newest? Let's go extract that. There's a shotgun in there I want. to die. Hello, on the way. All right, so we're going to shoot this flare up. Helicopter's going to come in. We got to defend the area while it's while they're coming in. That hurt, agent? You can't shoot that plane far enough. <laughs> Fuck you. Extraction ego almost within range. Pop up again. Dare ya. Here he comes. Ready for pickup. Vila is on site. Okay, so these guys can like literally shoot me right now and take my loot. Have four or just We all have four, or just three. Cargo extraction begun. Just one. Honestly, I don't know what the push to talk about is in this game. I think they're wanting to the squad up. I think it's two people and then two people. Or then two people and one person want to squad up. So anyway, we wait here for this extraction to depart. They could shoot me and take the stuff. They got me from behind. No, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I'm good, I'm good. Nearby agent has become Loading done. Ah, they got me. I didn't mean to turn around and shoot. I thought that guy was shooting me. Turns out he was shooting the dude. Agent out of action. Hilo is headed back. All right, so yeah, that's how that could have gone down. As you see. Yep, thanks for helping me, man. This guy's cool. Rogue agent killed. All right, so what's the emote system? Came back to help you. Appreciate it. Welcome. So as you saw, he was trying to Hostile hijack my stuff, detected. and I had to gun him down. There's a. Is that one of the guys? The, oh no, that's that guy that healed me. What a nice guy. It's good to see that in games nowadays. Okay. I have to push space. I can't just click on the icon, I guess. There you go, I got a level 2 pistol. I can't just click on the pistol, I have to click the F button. I think that's a little excessive. Let's see what Cell Trinkets does. 
All right, so let's see if I have this harness sec armor in my inventory. So I can just salvage anything from the dark zone in there. Oh, I thought I got some badass gloves. Plus 10 damage to elites. That's pretty cool. Take the 2% crit chance. Oh, I think I got a better shotgun. A little bit better there. Assault rifle. Rifle, rifle, rifle. Wait, let's see. So this is a rifle. This is a marksman rifle. It's got a 12 times scope. Oh, no, it doesn't have it. Oh, that's nice. It has damage drop off meters here. I hope I didn't lose it. Tell you how much at range. You're going to lose for your damage. It's pretty nice. And we're probably just gonna sell all this. They have a real nice function where you can just push V and mark it as junk instead of clicking. I wish there was just a mark all as junk, but I'll take this system. And then tab to sell junk. Easy enough. All right, so here at the Quartermaster, um, you kind of buy your upgrades. It says I have a nine SHD Tech 9, which means that I can use 9 points to upgrade things. So this is 5 to buy this one. Um, I need hey a skill point plus not, uh, 5 to buy this. So I don't have a skill point, so I can't get the sniper turret that fires high caliber rounds. Um, but I could buy the incinerator that shoots flames. Um, but that's unavailable in the beta. You also have perks that you can purchase um, for your tech points. Um, things like increase your inventory capacity, your 50% chance for a bonus item to drop when open a field proficiency cache. Um, carry one more armor kit, which is very useful, so we're going to buy that. Agent in need of backup. And I have to hold everything. Um, carry one more grenade, that's also very much worth it. Hey, over here. Detection. Oh, good, Donating enough resources to the control point activates better detection of loot containers in a 20 meter radius for 10 minutes. It's pretty cool. Uh, storage capacity for your crafting materials. Um, and this is kind of where you buy attachments hey, you. too. So we're going to buy a couple attachments and oh, put them on hey. it, some weapons. Ooh, what's this? Headshot kills award and XP bonus. So that's that sounds like a pretty decent one to get. Um, so we're going to buy the muzzle doing better than I thought. And we're going to buy the optics red dot site and look so when we upgraded the optics now we can buy optics 2 which gives you an acox scope which we're also going to buy. We did a grip uh, fixed long rails, under barrel attachment. Good, agent. And then if you pay one more, you can get a grip two that fits non-rail couplings. Hey, you! And then it looks like signature weapo an weapon ammo. Increases the amount of signature weapon ammo dropped. Um, signature ammo comes from your specialization at level 30. Um, so if you pick the God grenade launcher guy, you'll everything. be able to hold 
more uh, grenade rounds. Let's go ahead and get the, right now we'll get the magazine. And we'll go ahead and buy the 5.56 assault style weapon. You can push F to mod your weapon you have selected. Alright, so we have a long optics rail. Back. It's killing me. We're gonna put the 4x ACOG scope on. I could take a 12x uh, scope, but I don't want that for this weapon. Okay, so look, if we attach the short grip, it'll give us 10% to critical hit damage and minus 15 to reload speed. We can kind of counterbalance that by attaching a magazine that gives you a 25% reload speed, but you do take minus 15 rounds. So it's kind of a trade off. You want to find whatever one fits best for you. Time to check the Spring mag, um, durability but minus, or stability, but minus 10% damage to elites, so, um, let's see how we actually Howdy. attach things here. I mean, it's not... I need a vacation. So I know I have a rail on this. Okay, there we go. Space. A lot of things are done with space in this game. Alright, so we're going to put the ATOG scope on. Do the under barrel rail. Looking good, AJ. Um, now let's go see if we have anything for the shotgun. Nothing on, nothing goes on the double barrel, I guess. You don't have any little blips. Hello? Okay, so let's go back outside and check out this ACOG scope. So, so now we have a four times scope on here. That we can use to... Well, that's weapon mods. Thanks for tuning in to, for beta or worse, The Division 2, where we played through uh, each component of The Division 2's beta. In the prior videos, we showed you some campaign content, some endgame content, and in this one, we showed you The Dark Zone. And now it's time to give some final impressions on it. Overall, I like the game a lot. I was a little concerned about the bullet sponginess of the enemies, as that was a problem that kind of plagued the first one. Um... But it seems they had some added some different types of enemies and um, different tactics that they use that kind of made it acceptable uh, to be more bullet spongy. It seemed like in the first one they just kind of raised the damage uh, needed to kill an enemy in order to uh, make it more hard. So um, in this one, it, we'll have to see when the final release is, but I'm definitely impressed by that in the beta. Uh, it seemed like the end game was uh, the content they added, that Jefferson um, building raid that they, they added where we just ran it with two people. Uh, it was challenging. Um, I'm not sure how much it differs from the other missions or anything. All in all, I, I definitely play it uh, once or twice, <laughs> at least. At level 30, you can pick a specialist character. I did like the options. They had a sniper, a grenadier. Um, and a crossbow person in the bait. I'm not sure if there's more in the main game, but the idea of kind of specializing towards one specific play style uh, is a welcome thing. It's a lot, you know, it's what MMOs kind of do, um, and I like how they're kind of bringing that into this one. Shooting the guns feel great. Uh, it, it seemed like it varied between weapons more than the first one did. I didn't see too many guns that were kind of crazy or outlandish, but it is the nature of the beast the, of the game they've created, so I wouldn't expect too much or fantastical type weapons. As for the Dark Zone, it still remains the most engaging part of the game to me uh, from what I've experienced in this beta. I didn't play the Division 1 
far past the initial release because it just kind of wasn't my thing. So I'm not sure what they added to the game to improve it over time. Uh, but from what I played at Division 1, Dark Zone was definitely the most engaging part of that game. So what I saw in the beta, much of the same, uh, but that's not a bad thing. I did have a few issues with the UI on the PC. It did seem to ask you to push a couple needless buttons here and there. Instead of just clicking on a weapon to equip it or uh, put it in your inventory out of the mailbox, they ended up making you push the F button. It seems a little bit excessive and a little unnecessary. And they seem to use the space button to enter things a lot. I mean, when you have a console controller in your hand, you, you put it in there and you just push the A button on it, and that's what you got to do to select something. But in here, it's like you click the mouse on it, then press the space button. Seems like an unnecessary push of a button that you could just have achieved with clicking the mouse. And at first, it was a little confusing to me, especially when gun modding. I mean, I literally spent probably five minutes fig trying to figure out how to <laughs> even equip a gun mod. Now, I played the first division on consoles, so I'm not sure if they utilized the space button on the PC version of the first game, but to me, it, it's even worse if they did it that way because they should have learned their lesson or maybe augmented a few things uh, with this release. And who knows, maybe they change it in the final one. In typical Ubisoft fashion, I found the HUD to be a little overwhelming, uh, a little confusing. The icons um, are basically look all the same so knowing who a mission giver is and who a, a shopkeeper is on your um, compass across the screen is a little confusing and I'm sure with more exposure to the game I would recognize the symbols so it shouldn't be too much of a big problem in the final release the game releases on March 15 2019 so we don't have long to wait for it and I will be on day one streaming it you can find me on twitch.tv slash Benoit ADD. Tune in there to see some uh, post-release gameplay.